Hi, this is Jamie, and I am here today to talk about my favorite game mechanism in Hocus. Hocus is a little game, I made the box look really big, but you can see my hands. It's a small box game. Um, I followed the designer, uh, Grant Rodiak, I followed his blog for a while when he was talking about this game, and early on I think it was kind of a, a poker variant, and it evolved quite a bit into the point where it's no longer really a poker variant, even though there are some poker-ish elements to it. You are winning a pot every turn. You're you're putting together some cards that uh, that you combine with some cards in the middle of the table, kind of like Texas Hold'em, and uh, to create a, a hand. And um, and there's some bluffing elements too. You're you're trying to figure out what cards other players have, and and how good their hands are. Um, and I mention this because my favorite mechanism in Hocus is that. Uh, every player has variable variable powers. There's a lot of asymmetry in the game in terms of these powers. So it's a four player game, yeah, four player game, no, five player, two to five player game, and um, each of each player has these three cards that are just different powers. And it made me like the thing that I love about variable power, powers is as I'm playing, I'm enjoying my powers and enjoy what feels like breaking the rules, even though they're well within the confines of the rules. And I'm also jealous of the other player's powers. I'm wishing that I had them instead. It makes me want to play the game again with every different power. And I love it whenever I play a game and I want to play again, regardless of what the reason is. I, I love that, that motivation, that desire to play one more time. Um, and Hocus really has that. This isn't a unique mechanism that, that a game has variable player powers that's, or asymmetry that's, that's not uni unique at all. But what I think is really interesting about Hocus and why I preface this by talking about um, its origins in poker is that I love the idea of taking a very basic, even classic game and adding variable powers to it. Uh, that expand, that opens up a huge area of design, I think, um, for games. To, to take a game that people know and love or are very familiar with and has very basic rules and then add some different powers to it. In Hocus, I, the, the time that I played, um, every player has like three or four basic actions they can take. Um, and the variable powers are usually variations on those. They're more powerful versions of those, of those basic actions. And so it's always nice to have those basic actions there, but it's neat to, to you know, play the overpowered version of it that you that only you have. So I was trying to think: Are there any other games that do this? That take a very very basic classic style game and apply variable player powers to it, thereby giving the game new life. Now, I don't think this is always necessary. Like I love poker. I I played poker for for many many years with my friends before we got more into board games, and. Uh, and I don't know if I would ever really want to change poker. I, I liked it the way it w was. I, I like the social dynamics. I, I wouldn't really want to play uh, the version of poker that I played with my friends. I wouldn't want to add variable power, player powers to that. The variability in those games comes from us and the hands were dealt and the, the different number of people at the table. The game itself varies. Um, but I still do like the idea of, of a twist like this. And I think the theme helps. There's a thematic twist, there's the variable power twist. Um, I just think that's a, a clever implementation. So if you have any games in the comments that you can think of that are essentially classic games that have variable player powers added to them, I'd, I'd love to hear about it. Thanks.